Today is Saturday, September 15th, and today Juno and I are going to be hiking Buckskin Mountain for a full hike review of Buckskin Mountain. You can check the link below. Uh, so, parked a little bit away from Kite Lake. It's right up there. Uh, this place is a clusterfuck all the time because of Democrat Cameron, Bross, and Lincoln. And I decided I didn't want to fuck around with my car up there, uh, knowing that the road gets a little dicey. Uh, to this point, any car can make it past this, uh, these couple of curves here. It starts to get a little more hairy and harder to turn around. So, giving you a look at where we're going. Uh, Buckskin Mountain is right up there. Head up to the lake and cut over to gain that ridge. And then eventually up there. This is a centennial. Uh, which means it's top 100 in the state of Colorado. It's also a 13er, which means it's 13,000 feet or above. Uh, it's class two, so, and uh, pretty short, about three, three and a half miles round trip. So this is a great hike for families, uh, for people who are just getting into hiking uh, and still want to kind of experience that high altitude uh, feeling. So about a half mile from the Kite Lake parking area, the top part at least, and you get some cool basin views. So I believe Buckskin is this one. Uh, it might be this one. I'm not sure. I know there's like a second second peak, the West Peak, I believe. So actually, it might be this one right here. Um, so from here, uh, eventually you're gonna work left, and I'll kind of show you the uh, look back at the left side. But basically, you're gonna follow this trail, and I'm actually curious today to see how far this trail goes. Uh, or if there is any route finding on this. I know 13ers are all over the place in terms of how populated they are, so it should be interesting. Well, I went a little bit too high up it seems. So you can kind of see the willows like right here, those yellowish plants. You want to hike high enough to avoid those, but you don't want to keep hiking into this basin because it'll just bring you to kind of a dead end up here. Um, so I think what I'm going to try to do now is kind of work my way up this hill, basically to like where those power lines are. You might not be able to see them, it might be a little faint. Uh, but that's my goal, and then hope I can find some kind of a trail, and if not, uh, just use my best judgment to gain the ridge. Well, I now have my answer about the trail. Um, so looking back, so I told you I kind of went up to there and cut over. Realistically, you could probably cut over right around here. Um, there's definitely no trail, at least one that I can find. Uh, so this is kind of right underneath these power lines, so that's the landmark I'm using. And I'm going to kind of work my way up this, and then kind of reassess from there. Looking back down now, decided to stray away from the um, power lines. They're pretty low in spots, and also you can see that they go a little bit far that way, where we want to go more this way. I was on a trail for about two seconds, and now we're back to... Uh, just kind of working straight up this hill here. It's a uh, solid grass, which is nice. Um, the summit is right there. So hopefully once we get over this little hump here, we'll be able to reassess and give you a more direct line. Rounded the hill, this is what we're greeted with. So very much choose your own adventure, very much route finding heavy route. Uh, you can see kind of these little intermediate patches of rock fields all the way to the summit basically, which sucks. So I think I'm just gonna kind of beeline it up to the ridge maybe, and then head over to the summit there. Um, trying to stay on, on the grass as much as I can just so I give my feet a little reprieve and Juno pause. Still working my way up the shitty, shitty mess of grass and rock. I can honestly say this is one of my least favorite trails I've done in a long time. On a positive note, you can see a great view here of the uh, the Calibron. So you got Cameron, uh, or sorry, Democrat there. Cameron, which is not a true 14er, but still part of the 58 if you count them there. Sorry for the shaking, Juno is driving me nuts today. You got uh, the little tip there is Lincoln, and then Bross is like this flat area here. Then you can see the trail back down there. So, we're nearing the ridge, I think, but this is just really terrible going. Juno's really not well behaved right now because she hasn't been on a hike in a while. Uh, so anyway, hopefully going to gain the ridge and 
have a short little hike to the top. Okay, finally gained the ridge here. I believe the true summit is that way. Some cool views up here. Keep going this way. Come on, Juno. Crazy lightning strikes. Summit of Buckskin Peak. Uh, 58 of the Centennials down with this one. Not a very great hike, but hey, we're getting outside today, so that's cool. Uh, looking over, you can see the West False Summit. Uh, this is the true one. Uh, that's another false one. It's actually slightly lower. Um, so if you did want to make the hike over there, that's certainly an option. I'm um, curious actually if you could make the full ridge line hike from uh, here to um, Democrat. Looks like it's pretty gnarly maybe in this section here, but might be a fun future uh, trip to Beta someday. Looking around, you see the Decalibron again, really good views of that. Um, and then yeah, down into uh, Fair Play that way. And then obviously looking north towards Breck and uh, the 10 mile range that way. So um, you can see spots of foliage here. Uh, I would say this, this is definitely a dog friendly hike. Um, to the summit, I have 2.26 miles and I probably added about a half mile from parking a little bit lower down on the road. Lots of route finding on this hike. Um, you have to be comfortable kind of just knowing you're not gonna have a trail. Uh, if you do follow the trail up, uh, you'll end up at that lake right there or you'll end up following it to the power lines, which both cases are not where you want to go. Um, like any 13er, like any mountain really, there's tons of different ways to go up. So I think theoretically you probably could have hiked up uh, higher through here and then hiked over to there and then here, um, or even come from the west side maybe. Uh, I'm not sure what the closest access point is. Obviously Kite Lake is a very convenient one for here. Um, yeah, I'd say a half day for this one, moderate hike. Uh, in terms of gear, I wish I had more water. Um, and this one might be fun in the winter too, um, just because it's kind of monotonous in the summer. So um, if you did want to add more hikes today, obviously you got the Decalibron right there, which would be cool uh, to do that. And um, yeah, overall an okay hike. I definitely would not repeat this one uh, just because it wasn't too fun. Um, but if you'd like more information on um, Buckskin Peak, which I'm sitting on right now, you can check the link below. Uh, please subscribe to not miss any future hike videos. I'll be working my way through the 13ers and finishing up the 14ers, the ones I haven't done videos for at least uh, over the next uh, you know, season or so. Um, if you have a peak request, a route request on a peak, let me know. Definitely comment below. I'm always looking to try new stuff out. Uh, for you guys. Uh, really appreciate all the support. I'm um, really excited to keep growing this channel. Um, and yeah, so subscribe to not miss future hike reviews. Uh, Juno's digging, so I'm going to leave you guys with that, and uh, we'll catch you on the next adventure.